Hi, this is Emily from Minute Earth. Earthworms have earned a reputation as nature's gardeners because they eat leaves and then poop their way around underground, returning nutrients to the deep soil. But some plants and even whole ecosystems are actually better off wormless. For example, for several thousand years, the forests of northern North America grew tall and thick in part because there weren't any worms. Without earthworms to munch fallen detritus, leaves piled up in thick layers, which protected young tree seedlings from frost and herbivores, and also prevented the tree's competitors, smaller sun-loving plants, from pushing their way through. But then, in the 1800s, some European wrigglers arrived, perhaps as fishing bait for other new immigrants, and invaded the surrounding woods, where they immediately started devouring the layers of leaves that had built up over the years. This moved nutrients from the leaf layer to deeper layers of the soil, where it's harder for young tree roots to reach, and it left tree seedlings exposed to the elements. As a result, when old trees died, there weren't as many young trees to replace them. Instead, faster-growing grasses and shrubs began to flourish, including some foreign species that were good at growing around worms, possibly because they had co-evolved together back in Europe. These invasive worms have been altering the forests of northern North America for over two centuries, and scientists are worried that earthworms, along with an increasing deer population and a warming climate, could cause massive die-offs of the forest in the next 50 years, and someday help turn them into savannas. Or rather, back into savannas. Because way back before glaciers bulldozed northern North America during the last ice age, it was probably a savanna, with its own set of native earthworms. So the new earthworms, by helping nutrients return to the deep soil, might also be making room for the landscape to return to the deep past. But whether or not that return is a good thing is a whole nother can of worms. This video was sponsored by the University of Minnesota, where students, faculty, and staff across all fields of study are working to solve the grand challenges facing society. Professor Kyung Soo Yu and graduate student Adrian Wackett are studying soil changes caused by global worming. Lee Freelich and Peter Reich are researching how worms interact with other invasive species to change the forest. And Cindy Hale runs the Great Lakes Worm Watch, which helps the public understand worms' effects on the ecosystem. Thanks to the University of Minnesota for their work and their sponsorship.